Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Mary Gardner, and I have two special guests on today. I'm going to take away my little title here because you need to see both guests really good. <laughs> so in this session, I've got Stacy coming all the way from New York, right, Stacy? Yes. Awesome. And so for those of you who are watching, please put a shout out of where you're calling from and what kind of pooch or kitty cat that you have. And you have our other main star of today, Duke. Oh, show your face. <laughs> <laughs> now he's He's in his wagon. He thinks we're going for a walk. Oh, that's why. Right. Okay. So for everybody who's wondering like how we got to know each other. So uh, Stacy and I are both members of a Facebook group for dogs that have degenerative myelopathy. And um, I don't think I've ever done a video on that yet specifically, but it's a neurological disease that ends up paralyzing dogs. We see it a lot in, in German shepherds, but in large breed dogs. And I thought my dog um, two years ago had DM. We call it DM, just really short. And, uh, and it was, she had the classical signs of it. And that's why I joined this group, but she actually had spinal lymphoma but it's the same problem, slow paralysis. And the group is wonderful. And so I saw, Stacy some videos of you and Duke in his cart running. So tell us, how old is Duke? Duke turned 10 last October. So he's about 10 and a half. 10 and a half. And when did he start having signs of DM? Um, he probably had them before I actually noticed, but really last February and March, it started to become real, like obvious. A year. Yes. So about a, a little over a year. All right. And so now where is he now in his disease? He can no longer use his hind legs at all. Okay. Um, he still can use his front legs and <laughs> um, he unfortunately has to wear diapers. <laughs> uh, listen, he's still charming the ladies though, cause he's quite handsome. So that's actually a, a pretty fast progression of his disease. Within a year, he went from probably mild signs to, to full paralysis. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now the reason why we're together is because you did something amazing with Duke. And I I did a video once on creating a bucket list, but I think you surpassed my bucket list <laughs> because you went on like a bucket adventure with Duke. Yeah. yeah. So tell me why, when did it start? Like what? So when I realized, so what happened was DM, it's it's such a weird disease because there's not much information out there because nobody really knows what's going to happen and when. So when I joined the Facebook DM groups, I you really get to see what's going on because people are sharing their stories there. We're all supporting each other. And I was like, oh my gosh, this could happen quickly. I got to get this dog. I wanted to take him out west. I wanted him to smell the mountain air. It was always something I wanted to do with him. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm just doing it. And I, it was funny because it was really not planned. It was like two weeks before we left. I took the back seat out of my Jeep, set up his bed there, and we just headed to Colorado. So from New York, Stacy and Duke head off to Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Just, just let's do this. That was really it. We packed quickly and I got a rack for the back of the Jeep so I could take his food bin and his we would get his cart because he had a wheelchair at the time. We didn't have the wagon yet, but. Okay. Um, so he was in a wheelchair. So that was what, I'm sorry. When was that last summer, right? That like, was the last week of June. And he still did have use of his back legs when we started out. It just, he needed the extra help a little bit sometimes with the cart. I had to help him up harness, which is a wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful tool. The uh, best word this ever is help him up harness. I just, I talk about it so much. Everybody I yeah. love it. So he was still, he, he could still get a little bit around. Oh, somebody says we love Duke. Chelsea, Duke rules. <laughs> <laughs> now he's, now he's getting noted, noticed in the screen there. He's handsome. So yeah. let me, let me ask you, Stacey, something that probably uh, you heard and uh, might have upset you. And did, did a lot of people say you should let him go? Um, I still have people sometimes say that. And um, it's it, it really is, I think that Duke will let me know when it's time because 
this dog has so much fun. Like he has, it's interesting because you think of a normal 10 year old dog and what they do during the day. And we go every day, two miles. I pull him in his wagon. We, I run with him. Um, he sits outside sometimes while I work out. He barks at birds and dogs and who are my neighbors all know him. And you know, I love it. it. He does. So for everybody watching the, like you caught my eye because of your videos. And there was one video, I don't know, maybe six weeks ago or something like that. And it was you showing people that have a dog that has, you know, paralysis or DM or, you know, um, how to still have fun. And you were, you were run, jogging, pulling Duke in yeah. his wagon. I swear he had the biggest smile on. I mean, I have chills thinking about it. The smile yeah. is awesome. He, and it's funny because Duke is, everybody, all my friends who know Duke, Duke is a grouchy dog. He likes to growl and show his teeth all the time, especially to me. And it's it's like, oh my God, this dog. He is the happiest I've ever seen him in his 10 years in this wagon. I put him in this and he's so happy. We run around and he's barking, and he's smiling and everybody's waving at us. We, may, we put so many smiles on people's faces as we go by because He's literally the happiest dog in the world. He, I, I, everybody's know, like, I, I can agree to that. Um, so Judy says hello to our friends Duke and Stacy from your friends in North Carolina, Judy Gunner and Lulu. So I love it, King Duke. We got a little mini fan base going on here. Um, but and then you also have shared uh, in in that Facebook group how to help get your dog in a cart, how, you know, all, all these things. And the, the group is so supportive, which is, which is awesome. But okay. So you put everything in the Jeep, you take out the, the seat and you put Duke and his food and his goodies in this and you just go. We just go. And we, um, we, I had a place, I found one cabin for rent in Estes Park, Colorado. It was the last place for rent. And I was like, okay. And they allowed dogs. Um, it took us a couple of days to get out. We I slept in the back one night of the, the Jeep with Duke at a rest a, a truck stop in Kansas. And we almost ran out of gas in Kansas because we were in the middle of nowhere and no gas station. It was just such a crazy adventure. But he was so great. He had so much fun. And I would I would stick my hand back with a, a treat for him, carrots and cucumbers mostly, because those are his favorite treats. And he would just take them from me and we were singing and the, at the top back on the Jeep. Um, it was a really, really fun time for both of us, but he, he had uh, his life. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what were some of the things on his little bucket list? So to like, I wanted him cause you know how dogs just love to smell new things. Um, I, w I so wanted him to just get out there and smell different things and see different things um another thing i really wanted to do is get him in the water because he he's he's always loved the water so we did colorado utah and then montana and in montana yeah we were all over montana was crazy because the airbnb there's only two left in the state it was literally last minute leaving utah the next the next day i went to montana I had to find an airbnb and i had 23 stairs i had to take him up and down each time to go out so, and he had lost the use of his back legs at that point. So that help him up harness was like, if I didn't have it, I don't know what I would have done. People, I, I, I tell everybody, I make no money from them, but all I can say is how great they are. And yeah. my girl always had it on. She just, you know, that way I can pick her up really easy. And I know that some people have watched you put Duke in, his, in, the, in the wagon and they're like, use your help him up harness. And you're like, I like the workout too sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Because we need to work out too. Um, <laughs> So now uh, somebody just said here, and this is this is a good question. Not not all dogs love wagons. And my girl Sam, she gave me the middle digit when I tried to put her in a wagon. She was like, no, every pet's personality is so different. And when I'm helping families assess quality of life, just because we can doesn't necessarily mean we should or they want to. And this goes for putting a pet in a wagon, putting uh, you know doing subcutaneous fluids in a kidney failure pet or something like that. Duke loves his wagon. I mean, he's chilling in it right now. So Lisa says that her dog hasn't taken to the wagon yet. Any suggestions? So did it take you a couple of wagons for Duke or is he just always amazing? Um, he, he really loved it from the beginning. The, the, the cart was a different story. The wheelchair. Yeah. It's not that he didn't like it. He almost didn't know what it was. 
Yeah. Um, so what I had, what I did with him was before he lost use of his legs, I knew it was hap- going to happen. I would put him in it for five minutes and then yeah. take him out. But I would make it like a celebration. Like it's, it's almost like, hey, this is gonna be so much fun and this and that. He would get so excited. He's like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm happy. And then like there's treats involved or like he, he gets excited when I get excited. So it's like, all right, let me just make this a, a fun party. So um, it's, it's frustrating when they don't like something, but they feed off of that. So it's almost like, don't get frustrated, like make it happy no matter what. It's, this is good, this is good, this is good. And keep reinforcing that. And I think that may actually help. And, and the wagon thing definitely like he has in here his favorite toy with a cookie in it. I always do that. So it's like, okay, this is, this is a positive thing. When I go in the wagon, I get this toy. I get this treat. That it's, I in, it's in your house. It's not, a, you know, just out in the garage and, and things like that. And you've got, it looks like you've got the fabric ones, like the big um, carts you could bring to the beach, like stuff. I do. And it's got the big wheels. Um, nice. it's, yeah. It's a really comfortable one. He's got a lot of room in it. So he, and he feels secure. I see some people have them in the wagons that are not as deep and yes. I think that they're not as secure here. He's, he's really in it. And it's, it's, it, I think it actually helps, helps him to feel secure. So that that's something else to keep in mind when buying one, like get a, get a deep one. Okay. No, these are, these are all good points. And, you know, when Sam, when I put her in her, uh, in her wheelchair, again, the middle digit, she was not a fan of anything. Right. And, um, but what I did is I just put her in it when she was eating just to help like hold her up also. And then that got her, and then she would, you know, waddle off when she was done. And what's hard is the bigger the dog, the bigger the equipment is and the wheels are, you know, big. So my house, she was bumping into things. So that was the struggle. So you kind of have to just move everything aside and, and, and just have the whole place uh, taken over by them. Do you have any other pets? Um, no, it's just Duke. He does have uh, next door. He has a friend named Oliver. Hi, Oliver. I know you're watching right now. Who's a little dashing and, uh, he and there's a cat named Hunter who is also his buddy. So they have an interesting relationship. Um, Oliver and Duke are so funny because they literally talk when we're we're all outside together. They have a full conversation, and it is we just laugh because we don't know what they're saying. Um, but they certainly like to talk to each other. <laughs> I love it. And you know, a lot of dachshunds uh, get back issues. So we see a lot of smaller dogs in wheelchairs and carts and things like that. So I think the bigger the dog gets a little bit of negative attention on wheelchairs and stuff like that, because they're like, it's so he's so big, he can't be happy. But we see dogs, smaller dogs for years. Everybody loves a Frenchie, which is like the hot breed out there. That They are a neurologist dream because they will have back issues. And they will be in, in, in wagons and harnesses and things like that. So the bigger the dog, it really comes on you, Stacy. So you're, you know, he's awesome, but you're a little bit more awesome. Sorry, <laughs> Duke, because it is, it is a big responsibility and just care. Like you said, 29 steps or whatever you had to bring them on. So, you know, it's important for people who can't manage that to not also have guilt mm-hmm. if they can't do it. Because it is, it is hard. Sam was 80 pounds. My, my Doberman before Sam had, um, he had something called a, a geriatric onset laryngeal paralysis and polyneuropathy. Big word. Wow. <laughs> so it's a polyneuropathy. So bad stuff happened into the back end. And it was, it was hard, but he never lost full, full mobility. And Stacey, I actually had, oh, Judy says, yes, Stacey's awesome. Um, I had a, uh, a cat that was paralyzed. Oh. And every, uh, not everybody, but many people said I should let her go. And I just, I was trying to, to, she got, she was attacked by a dog. So the dog broke her spine. Mm. This cat was a slider. So she slid all over my house. I never had to put her in a little chair or anything like that. Cats do very well sliding. And she just climbed up on everything. I had to keep her claws like sharp because she would use it to climb up the cat tree. She was (laughs) She was everywhere and she was so happy. So Duke kind of reminds me of my girl, Goldie, who's yeah. just happy. And I think you are the best person to know when Duke is no longer Duke and, and more on the personality side. Cause he's not the same Duke as he was last year physically. Right. Right. He is 
he's he might be you know like you said even happier now in his in his setup. I I wish that I bought him a wheelchair when when he was he was a rescue at ten months old. I wish at that point I knew I would have uh, not a wheelchair a, a wagon back then because it, it, he just. I swear, I, I've never seen anything like it. If I'm petting him now, if I did this while he was over there, he'd be showing his teeth to me. He's, he's a different doll. He's so much happier here. It's bizarre. And I'm I'm like, so sometimes I just keep him in this, wheel him around the house a little bit. It's like, um, I tell him it's like an amusement park ride because like I, I, I have a porch outside, I push him and it goes across by himself and he just loves it. And then when we run, He's like, wee, this is really fun. We're going fast and he, guys, it's the best to see that to see him on the on the videos. It's it's just amazing. And uh, we'll post I, I know that you sent me your YouTube video, so I'll post it in the comments afterwards so that way people can see you guys run it because it is just amazing. So now we know sadly they, they all can't live forever, which is what I'd like. And, you know, time is limited. Do we have, though, anything else that we want to do with Duke before you have to say goodbye? So what's next on a little list? Yeah, I know. We're, we're going to take another road trip, I think, uh, uh, this month. Um, first, I want to take him this weekend. I think I'm going to take him to um, a park in the area. And really just um, there's a park that has a lake and a beach and I want to uh, wheel him around out there and then maybe go a little bit on the trails. Um, and I know the water will be really cold, but I may actually bring him in it and we'll see. He, he, uh, he's recovering from a really bad hot spot. Oh, so, yes. Yeah, um, it was. And then he did a little bit of extra damage to the hot spot one day, even with he used he actually used the cone to actually oh, see it. It. I was like, he's using tools now. <laughs> like, he's advanced like using tools. <laughs> he's an advanced species. He's, he's an advanced a, species. He's bad. And they can get hot spots too. And then, you know, so that's something you have to watch for. So I love it. Listen, you're up in New York. I, I take him to Bear Mountain. And uh, what uh, what I noticed, it, I told Stacey when we popped on, that we're both from the the... <laughs> Lower southeast side of New York. Every every New Yorker who knows where we're from also, oh, you're from upstate. And I'm like, oh, we're from downstate, actually. Yeah. So. It's not the city, but it's it's above no. the city. We'll give them that. <laughs> My father worked in the city. So that's, uh, but listen, I bet you when you travel, if anybody sees you that has watched this, they'll have to stop and say hi and 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 meet Duke. So do now people more more people come up to Duke and you like and, and pet him and all that stuff? Or is, is he like... He doesn't let anybody pet him. I'm lucky I can pet him. <laughs> but, That's but people come up and we, and cars stop while we're on the road and I have so many cars stop and they ask questions. I have people taking pictures of us. Um, he's so famous. It's so much. When I was in Estes Park, I actually had posted on an Estes Park Facebook page. Hey, if you see us, this is Duke. And this uh, wonderful woman, Autumn, who's a photographer there, saw the story and she was like, oh my God, I'm a professional photographer. I have to take pictures of you guys. And that's the picture that you see um, for the advertisement for this. She took, she met us and she it was just amazing, took professional photos of us with the Rocky Mountains in the background. And uh, people have just been amazing. Um, Everybody, the whole trip, it was like, everybody was like, oh, Duke, this is so cool. They thought it was a really cool thing to see him in his cart. And when we went to, um, in Montana, we went to the, the beach and I took him. He was actually, he wasn't able to walk with his legs, but he could still swim with his back legs. And I was actually able to float him for a while. So we were just kind of, I was floating him and people were just, they loved it. They loved seeing it. And he was so content. He's like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Great, a hundred percent. And I love. And if any of you guys watch and say what what you know what's on your bucket list for your for your dogs and, and cats and for you know for my for my for my boy uh, Duncan, my Doberman. And towards the end, you know, it was just visiting from the neighbors, right? So so Oliver and stuff like that coming over to visit. And I you know I I want I wish people would start doing bucket lists before it gets so bad because then you can enjoy some of these moments. And, and when it gets more difficult, it can be hard. And listen, Subaru had their commercial for uh, for like doing a bucket list or something like that. And it was one of the best commercials they ever had. So I think Duke should have been on that commercial. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
So, oh, Renee wants to know if, if Duke's got like a social media and how to follow Duke. You know, he he does have a Facebook page and I haven't used it in a while, but I think maybe we'll uh, start doing it so I can post everything because I have some really amazing pictures from our, our trip from last year and we're going, going to be doing some more amazing things. So I, I think, will... you to, sorry, Stacy, because I think it's a, it, he's an, you both are an inspiration an idea generator and uh, and just awesome because, and it doesn't, a, a bucket list item doesn't have to be as grand as going across the country, right? Like it really can be, I, what was on Duncan's list was also peeing on the neighbor's plants because he loved to do it. <laughs> he got real fast, Shh, don't say anything. But, uh, but do, look at him. I know. Oh, excuse me. Hello, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hold my hand, no? He's like not in front of everyone. His ears are so are so amazing. Um, I, you know, and and uh, you, how you mentioned that that you're the only one that really can can pet him, and that's totally fine. I remember I had this one hospice uh, dog, Andy, and this is when I lived in California, and uh, Andy was just a little. He was just a little you know tiger almost, and he was a little sassy pants. I'm trying to say a word that I could say, <laughs> and um, anyway, he. He was he would not even let me go near him. And I said, that's okay. The day he's okay with me going near him, that means that's not good. That he yeah. doesn't care anymore. That's so right. So when everybody can pet Duke and he doesn't care, like those are some of the things that I would I would be looking for. Oh, Inga says majestic. <laughs> Do you have something to say? <laughs> he's trying starting to talk. Oh my gosh, he's just so cute. Uh and so Patricia has a great, she's making it a point to sit out every night for an hour or so. So the big pup, uh, spending time because we can't get enough time, right, everybody? And I love the professional photos too. So I did that with my girl, Sarissa. That's one of her pictures there. And uh, it was the best, just a couple hundred bucks. And it was just, uh, or get free like, like Duke did, right? But it's not much at all. And it and it is just so nice to have those amazing pictures. I'm so glad. And I... I, I I took so many um, with the map of just him and his cart in the mountains, and then we'd walk around the certain lake, and we have pictures of that. And I have some coming at him coming out of the water, and I the, all the pictures were great. I would love I would have it would have been great if I had a professional photographer with me the whole time because the the places I that we visited were amazing, and um, yeah, he takes a good picture. He's pretty cute. He's you know. He's not so bad looking. He's it's, so bad. I know. I love it. I have my, my Samoyed. Everyone's like, oh, she's so pretty. I'm like, thank you. Like I had anything to do with it, right? <laughs> I know. Nothing. But um, I, <laughs> uh, so let's see. Renee says, I have a German shepherd, Lady Madonna, who broke her back last April uh, and her back legs are paralyzed. People always try to come up and pet her when she's in her wheelchair. And I tell Lady wasn't so friendly before she the accident hasn't changed. She was a rescue and uh, and is very careful who she allows in her circle. And the bucket list is a great idea. I love it. And um, uh, I would I would definitely want everybody to put in their bucket list, share the pictures and, and things like that. So listen, I don't want to take more of your time. This is you've been so amazing. I love watching what you share on that Facebook group for degenerative myelopathy. There are so many Facebook groups out there that are that are helpful, like the LARPAR group that I'm also a member of. Uh, Alyssa wants you to do an Instagram. Oh. Uh, and um, uh, there's, you know, there's paralyzed dog groups. There's so many, you know, diabetes cats and things like that. So just look out because you can find amazing people like yourself. And, uh, and I love to share it. So listen, I'm going to be the, you know, the next first follower because I know he's already got some followers. <laughs> and, uh, I, I love it. So listen, you're going to have a great time in the, in the park this weekend. Does anybody have any quick questions before we before we uh, head off? Rob says he's sure he's going to see you again. Listen, this is this has been so, like I said, inspirational, and uh, and I have there's a, a I have on a, an Amazon page with a lot of products that I recommend for purchasing. The one product that's not on there because they don't sell it on. Um... Oh, look at that! <laughs> You've got my book. You do have your book, right, Duke? Duke's like, uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Is that your book? I love it. Oh, I love it. 
Oh, I love it. Yes, my book, it's never long enough. Uh, and and in there, I talk a lot about the different uh, uh, wagons and the harness. So that's the big thing is the help them up harness. We just posted it there. It, they don't sell it on Amazon, but it's like a hundred dollars. It's like the best people will try to get a little bit cheaper. And I, and I'm like, mm -mm, just spend the hundred, 120 bucks for this. It depends on the size. It's the best thing ever. Um, <clears throat> Oh, I just want to read Bruce's Bruce's thing here because he's fit. sending prayers for Duke. I wish I could have done that with my boy Jetson, but we live on a second floor and he was in pain getting him up and down the stairs. A hundred percent is situational. Uh, he knew he was loved immensely. Lap of love came to our house. Luckily, I found out about you the last minute. Um, Duke is so lucky to have such a good friend to help him on his journey. And I'm sure you'll feel, feel you feel like the lucky one to have him. I know I felt like that with my boy. He was lucky because he got to be able to go everywhere with me, including the beach all the time because we live five minutes walk from there uh but also with various woods we walked to and i was very lucky to have the love i received from him i love this it's oh and they're waiting for you listen i i, I if, if there's one place i i want to go when i die it's where all they are so oh i hear him he's speaking you want to say what? hi go ahead say hello speak go ahead you're, I can't believe you're so quiet. You're never quiet. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I love it. There we go. Uh, I love it. Well, we will. We will. End on, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I love it. We will end on that note. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I hope this gave you some inspiration. And if you see Duke and Stacy out on the road, please definitely say hi to Stacy and speak to Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. And, yeah, and and thank you guys for watching. Love up on your on your gray muzzle. And Renee, there is a Facebook group for dogs with disabilities. They like just got to search. They're out there. There's tons of them, and they are awesome. So thank you, everybody. Till next time. Bye, Duke. I'm gonna hide my finger so we can see all Duke. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.